Hey guys, today is a good day because I am repotting my African spear plants. Now I have this one, a couple others. I'm going to be putting them in the same container. Uh, these plants don't usually need to be repotted often and I actually had separated them out at one point. Now I'm putting them back together. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be sharing all of the critical, crucial care tips that you need to know, as well as any tips when it comes to repotting. I'm going to be sharing the specific ingredients that I will be including in the potting mix, as well as the ratios. So basically everything you need to know, start to finish when it comes to caring for the beautiful cylindrical snake plant. If you're into all of that, plus more, stay tuned. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button. Now, if you're really interested in showing me some love, click on the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my merch store, tylermossup.com. All right, guys, I love these. Uh, I may or may not have just had a little bit of an accident. As you can see, this one is no longer in its container. Uh, it did kind of fall over. These do tend to be a little bit top heavy um, and the root system do tend to be on the sort of shallower end. And I think this brings up an important point, especially when it comes to repotting. Um, you're typically wanna, going to want to keep these guys root bound um, as well as probably use a um, shorter, um, stump your pot just because the root systems are a little bit shallow. Today I am going to be using this beautiful pot that has drainage and a built-in saucer. I love the colors and it's just really great. Now because I am going to be throwing in uh, three of these into one pot, I think um, in terms of the diameter, the size is just good. It's probably a little bit deeper than I would want. So all things to consider. I have done a couple of videos on these beautiful houseplants. So if you're interested in checking those out, I'll be sure to throw up a link right here. But otherwise I want to jump into, uh, you know, exactly the soil mix that I'll be using, including the ratios as well as some care tips. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, here is a closer look at the roots on one of these African spear plants. As you can see, like I said, they are um, a little bit more top heavy and the root system can uh, run a little bit more shallow. So something to uh, consider. Let me give you a little closer look at the container I'll be using today as well. All right guys, I'm obsessed with the blues and even the sort of natural tones of the browns. Love this uh, pot. And as you can see, there is a nice large drainage hole at the bottom as long as well as I should say this uh, built-in saucer, which is perfect uh, for really good drainage. So let's jump into what ingredients I'll be using and uh, how much uh, for uh, this repot. So here is the mix that I'm going to be using and there's kind of a lot going on uh, in terms of this uh, soil mix and the different ingredients and components that I've used. So as you can see, there's some LECA. Um, I've used some horticultural charcoal, some academa, um, as well as some bark, uh, more fine grain bark, as well as some coco coir and peat moss. And one of my uh, what am I forgetting? Some perlite in here as well. So in terms of ratios, I used about uh, three parts of the uh, coco coir, peat moss, and fine grade bark, and perlite to about uh, one and a half parts of academa, as well as the leca. Now, the reason for uh, this mix is I wanted to add some ingredients to make it a little bit grittier, um, a little bit sandier, uh, just to help with the sort of succulent nature of the um, cylindrical snake plant and the LECA really helps for drainage and also because this container is a little bit deeper um, than I had hoped, this will just be, uh, I hope, a, a better mix um, in terms of um, just making this container and this mix right for one another for this plant. So guys, this one didn't fall out of its container, so all of the roots are still intact. Uh, basically the kind of the same thing with the roots, but a little bit um, more intact. 
Also very cute. This one has uh, a pup that's coming through. So that's a really good sign that it was happy in its old container. And I hope that it's going to be just as happy in its new container. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but there's actually one kind of uh, cylindrical thing pushing through at the top, super fun. And uh, yeah, there we go. So make sure that you've added uh, a good base in there so that um, the plants are sitting uh, just at the right height um, to get good coverage over the root system and so that they're, um, you know, poking up uh, where you want them to. So that looks about right. So I'm just going to get this other one out of this old container and then uh, backfill in all of the space with the mix that I created. So give me a second, I'll be right back. So guys, they are very tenuously placed in this container. Um, they're kind of relying on one each other actually just to kind of stay upright. But now what I've got to do is add the remainder uh, of my soil mix in and around just to kind of make sure that they're stabilized and stay in place. So uh, very carefully, just in the middle here, I'm going to uh, continue to add the remainder of this mix. And uh, once that's done, I'll be able to share some really crucial, uh, important care tips for the African spear plant. So let me just finish up here. And uh, again, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm really happy with how this is looking, how it's all turned out. It's much more stable in this really solid, weighty container, despite it being a little bit deeper than uh, perfect. Uh, I don't have to worry about it tipping over and vacuuming it up and repotting the one that kept falling over, over and over again. So that is a huge relief. And these are easy care plants, as I alluded to at the beginning of the video. And that's really because uh, they don't require um, a lot of um, intervention and you know, caring for them is easy and that's why we refer to them as easy care. So in terms of light, they do appreciate some full sun or really bright, bright indirect light. Um, so I'm looking forward to putting this a little bit uh, closer to uh, a window, a south facing window, now that my lighting arrangement has changed in my home with the switch of the seasons. That being said, uh, you don't need to fertilize these uh, plants that much. I do like to do like a liquid diluted uh, fertilizer, at about, fertilizer at about half strength um, in the growing months, so in the summer. And in terms of watering, I don't water these very frequently, um, only kind of when I look at them and they look like they're a little bit depleted um, or kind of drying up a little bit, to be honest, that's when um, I will give them uh, a little bit of a watering and actually they look like they're at that point right now. So I'm just going to uh, very carefully give them uh, a water and they'll be good for probably about a month. So that's it in terms of watering. And we've already done our part when it comes to the soil mix, adding that gritty, the charcoal, the, um, the leca balls, as well as the academa uh, will all help, including the bark with the drainage. You don't want the water sitting in these root systems um, because they don't like that. But at the end of the day, I'm really happy with how this turned out. What do you guys think? Uh, and uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Well, that's it for me. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button or give this video a thumbs up. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.